As the internet becomes more and more media focused, we need more space to save all of that media. Smartphone cameras are also becoming more and more advanced each year, which means larger photos in size and more detail, which is great, but you also need more space to save all of those photos. Now, physical storage devices are limited by their onboard storage capacities and most modern smartphones don't even have a microSD card slot to expand their storage. The obvious solution here is a cloud storage service. Now, there are a lot of different options for different people out there. There's Google's Drive, which is the obvious option for Android and Pixel users. There's Apple's Cloud, which is the obvious solution for iPhone and iOS users and everybody else in the Apple ecosystem. There's Microsoft's OneDrive, there is Proton's Drive, and then there's Mega. But today, we're talking about a different cloud storage service provider. We're talking about Internex, which boldly claims to be the safest cloud storage service that you can get. We'll be reviewing Internex plans, its storage capacities, how its apps function both for on desktop and phone, as well as how it fares with its competition. The most important part of a cloud storage drive should be the hassle-free usage and we're happy to report that Internex checks that box, for the most part anyway. Signing up is rather basic and easy. You create a new dedicated account and you get 2GB of free space right off the bat. There are, however, tasks that Internex asks you to complete for additional storage, which can bump you up to 10 gigabytes. The reason why Internex doesn't support social logins is because of security. Every account has its own encryption mnemonic or passphrase, which is required for the client to access the files. These tasks that we talked about include downloading the phone and PC apps and uploading files from them, subscribing to the Internex newsletter, sharing a file and inviting a friend for a maximum of four. Now we tried completing these tasks but they didn't reflect in our test account so take it with a pinch of salt but you can get as much as 10 gigabytes on a free account at Internext. You can access your cloud drive using either the iOS or Android apps or the Windows, Mac OS or Linux desktop apps. And then there's the web interface as well which is by far the easiest way of accessing and uploading files. The desktop apps seem to be primarily built to store backups which are categorized separately on the drive's interface. You can tell the app to track certain folders on your computer and it will automatically take periodic backups of said folders. Apart from that, there isn't much to Internext's apps. They do their job and aren't cluttered with unnecessary features. One thing to point out, however, Internext also has this Photos feature that will automatically sync all of the photos on your phone to the drive. All the app needs is permission to access your storage, which will most likely happen when you try to upload something for the first time from the app. It doesn't ask if you want to back your photos up. The moment you access the Photos tab in the phone app, it automatically starts syncing. While we can see this feature being useful to some people, the fact that you're only starting with 2GB and considering the high quality photos smartphone cameras take these days, you can run out of that storage real quick if you aren't keeping an eye on the sync. Speaking of syncing, any files uploaded from your phone will immediately reflect in the drive, even if you're using the account on another device. However, deleting files seems to be a hit or miss situation. We tried deleting multiple test files that we had uploaded and while the bigger ones deleted without a hassle, we've been trying to delete a 24 megabyte PDF file for like 5 days now. The interface for this web app, or all apps for that matter, is relatively simple and that's a good thing for a cloud drive. It is after all a mass storage space. You do get all sorts of sorting tools in a search bar to look through your files quickly, but outside of that, there isn't much to the interface or features. It's a simple, no-nonsense storage solution for you to dump your files and forget about them. Now, Internex claims to be the safest cloud storage you can get. This is a rather bold claim to make in the face of competition like Google, Microsoft, Mega and Proton, a company that's known for its commitment to security and privacy. While neither of the aforementioned cloud storage solutions compromises the security, Internex seems to be doing things similarly to Proton. Your account is permanently tied to your cloud drive and losing your password or resetting it could mean a permanent loss of data, making your password all the more important here. This is because Internex uses your password to encrypt your encryption key itself, meaning the company doesn't have access to your key or by extension, your data. Every time you log in, your password is used to decrypt the extension key, which lets the client access your drive. They do give you a backup key to recover your account, but if you lose the backup key and forget your password, you can kiss your files goodbye. This isn't necessarily a drawback, just the way encrypted cloud storage works. Internext is built for Web3, meaning information they encrypt and store is decentralized. The platform is also open source and built on a blockchain, meaning every bit of its code is out there for the public to audit, and all of its actions are traceable on the blockchain. The drive employs end-to-end -end encryption to encrypt your data before it even leaves your device, ensuring that your files don't reach the server in their raw readable format. 
Google is the absolute king when it comes to features. Google One gives you constant storage space and even suggests old and big files you haven't used in a while for deletion to save space. Not to mention, they have an entire dedicated dashboard for managing your storage. While not offering as many features as Google, Mega still edges ahead, at least in terms of its mobile app. The web interface has the exact same features as Internex, but Mega's phone app is just better made. The same goes for desktop apps as well. Google's and Mega's desktop apps will let you manage your entire drive and backup files without a hassle. Internext's app wants to do the same but falls short of its goal. Storage space is the same story. Google offers 15 GB of free space with every account. You don't have to do any tasks to get more. Mega offers 20 GB which has been lowered from its previous 50 GB of free space. And Internext only does 10 GB, 8 GB of which is subject to you completing the tasks. As for downloads and upload speeds, here's what we found. Keep in mind that these speeds were recorded when uploading and downloading a 1GB zip archive over a standard 50Mbps connection to all three drives. The pricing for the three services, however, is a bit different. All three services offer prices in different storage capacities in different tiers. While Google and Internex are similar in terms of prices and offerings, Mega has a huge difference in both price and capacity. Overall, if Internex storage tiers and pricing fits in your budget, it's actually a really good deal. It's a no-nonsense storage solution where you can just dump your files online, share them with these and forget about them when you don't need to. If you like Internex, you can get 25% off on all of their annual plans using the code CD25 at the link given in the description below. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below what more you'd like us to cover. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website Canada Technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.